there's a, a whole literature on low carbohydrate diets that show them to be effective. Um, I think probably most convincingly for um, the reversal of a type two diabetes diagnosis for reversing that process. And that's why the American Diabetes Association has now in their guidelines is mentions not only of low carb, but of the keto diet as, as wow. you know, good viable options and the best diet for glycemic control, which means controlling your blood sugar, which is the most important thing you can possibly do in diabetes. And also by the way, and this is an important kind of like, uh, ancillary to our, what we're talking about, which is in the literature on um, how to avoid the worst outcomes for the coronavirus. One of the what they a study recently found that what most tightly associates with and what is most associated with poor outcomes was high blood sugars upon admission to yeah, the hospital. Yeah, yes. So keeping your glycemic control in control <laughs> is super important. It's so important. Yeah. So I mean. I think that literature, you know, as a start, reversing diabetes in America, which is, you know, drives the majority of healthcare costs. Um, you know, I think we have less clear literature that it it clearly does a very good job for weight loss, but I think, um, you know, we still need more literature on that, but it's clearly viable and safe and there's long-term enough data. I mean, I'm talking multiple, nine trials that are at least two years, which is considered long enough to see any negative side effects. Um, yeah. 